Good evening, everyone. It's Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations, and I wanted to come on and do a share video of my loaded envelope that I made. I know that I've showed bits and pieces of it and some of it on Sierra's video and different videos, but I wanted to put just a video of it by itself on my channel. Um, me and Sierra made these together. It is my first ever loaded envelope that I've made, and I really loved making this. There's so many things that I have really um, learned how to make that I really love and want to make more of, but there's so much stuff and I want to make more of everything and I'll be here till forever trying to do that. So I just want to, I'm going to take it apart so I can show it all to you. I really had a lot of fun uh, creating this. So we're just going to kind of take it apart bit by bit so I can show you. So the envelope is actually made out of a manila envelope the one with the little latch on the back and we just cut the top off of it and then i covered the inside and the outside with this gorgeous paper that i have um i forgot i'm not sure if it said who the line is by i just know it's old paper um i got it from uh a friend so i i know it's old so that, that it comes with all kinds of cool sheets with it and vellum sheets and everything with it so this is I actually had to change mine up a little bit because it became really fat. <laughs> um, so there wasn't enough room. So I would suggest if you make one of these two add pockets that spread out because you won't get a lot in it. So on the inside, I did put a, another little pocket here. And I did it with my Martha Stewart punch across the top. I haven't really used this pocket, but there is a little pocket in there if you wanted to use it. And then there is a pocket on the back that does come outward so that I can stick stuff in the back. And the front one is the same way. So this is the front. And we actually rolled this down. And it just, if you roll it while your glue and stuff is still wet and hold it for a minute, it will stay. So I just rolled my corners down. I did add some beautiful buttons to it and a little um, piece of like a braided trim on here that I just thought gave it a little extra. And then I made some paper flowers and put it on the front pocket and a, <clears throat> I don't know, what is with my voice when I come on here? And a little applique, um, this is an applique piece with a flat back pearl. And then on the back, I did another paper flower and these are actually vellum stickers right here. These are very old too, I know. Um, so I added those on there as well. One's a leaf and then that's just a rose. I just wanted to give it some detail. And then I put a piece of crochet trim across the back and right up the sides. This is because I told you I had to change it and add a pocket to it. So we will, and I did distress all of my edges um, and then use distress ink. I use my Victorian velvet, which is one of my favorite colors to use. So now we'll go through and I uh, will go through everything. So I also created these cards. Um, they're kind of like a dress form shape. I did make this shape up myself and cut them out and I put two together. So they are, um, they are very sturdy. I think I put them on a piece of cereal box there you go my chipboard my cereal box chipboard so they are nice and sturdy and then i took a bunch of my i took some this is anna griffin paper this is an old paper too and then this one i believe too and then these go to the paper line these two are with the paper line that i did the envelope in and then on the backs of them there are some different papers this is just a pink and that is a really pretty yellow with a green in it and it, it just all matches the envelope and that's that same paper line again diff, just a different sheet of paper and that's just a plain um, beige one so then I took them and covered them with some trims and laces and stuff and this is one of them and I believe I tea I don't know if this one's a tea dyed or coffee dyed they're both mixed together so I don't know which it is and then I just pinned them on the back and then this one, which is a pleated um, one, I really like. And then this one, again, I think I did a coffee dyed and a tea dyed piece. I put both on here and you can see, I know it's looking really yellow, but it is not yellow, trust me. Um, one is just a lighter color than the other. 
And that's that one. And then this one, which has some, um, and then this is again, I think, I'm not sure if this is one piece or two, but it, um, it has some sequins and stuff on it. I just thought it was really pretty. So that's something, you you know, different stuff that you can use on a project. And then I just used another piece of that beautiful crochet trim and tied a bow in it and put them together. And those are what goes inside the top of the envelope. So then we'll pull out the front. I also made some tags to go in here, a bunch of tags. I was going tag happy. I did make one um, card. And I just punched out the corner on both sides. And then it's just a card. And I did put some of the vellum leaves on the back. So this could just be a journaling card if you want to write something to somebody on it. And it just sits. There's a pocket here and a pocket here. So this is just a small pocket. So it just sits in there. And then I made this little embellishment with a paper flower and a... Um, pink crocheted it's a little bitty doily and then a half back pearl onto a paper clip and then I just put a flower on the back to cover it so it just it kind of matches it's just a little bling so here's one of the tags and this is another paper I'm not sure who this paper is by but again I know it's old um, I just thought it was really pretty and then I put a little applique with a green um, button and put some yarn through it and just tied it and then I did a I think this is another flower or it's a little piece of a it's a piece of a banner I cut the flower out of and just put it on the corner with a flat back pearl and a piece of pink trim running down the side and then on the back is this beautiful um oh let's get that cut we'll have to get that cut this beautiful um pink paper and then I just punched my little circles I used a circle punch and then a regular this punch like this to punch out the center of it to make the little holes and my thing is coming undone of course because I'm on here everything wants to come apart right now so let's put this back through here it's just a pink just a pink ribbon all right let's try this again where's the other half all right let's put this back in here it's only because I'm on here that everything's going to want to come apart why would this come out I'll probably have to glue it there we go just a little pink ribbon up there for the top so that's one I do want to cut that off so where's my scissors just got stuck on something and then I made another little tag and this one just has um, that Martha Stewart punch I cut a piece of it off and stuck it on top of the paper and then put a piece going this way and fussy cut out a little rose out of the paper and put a little piece of rickrack on here. Um, this is a little, this is on a, tr a whole roll of trim that I have. I don't know what it's called, but I did it in pink and then added a little doily with a piece of an applique on there and then did another, cut out another uh, circle for the, the hole where the string hangs. Oh my goodness. And then I just put another uh, piece of a vellum. Um, you can't see it on here, but there is a vellum leaf on there. <laughs> it's hard to see. And then here is another tag, and I made a little bowl. And then this is, again, that gorgeous paper line and a chiffon flower with a halfback pearl. I'm calling them chiffon. If I'm wrong, I, I don't know why when I get on here I lose that word. And then I put this gorgeous little trim in here and then some more beautiful... Um, paper that matches you know matches the envelope and this one I did on a cereal box too so this one's really sturdy and then it's got paper on both sides <clears throat> and then here's another tag see all these things are coming they shouldn't be coming loose like this it's probably because I play with this so much probably should glue all of those or staple them one of the two or just run a running stitch through them all right let's get this up here Sorry guys. So I just used the brick rack to run through there. And then cut out another one of those flowers from that banner and put a little um, cloth flower on here and then a teeny little another flower in the center. And then I just made this little design out of the paper and punched out this little square and added this little paper flower to it just kind of for a decoration. I like my things um, dimensional. And then I did uh, distress all the edges of all the tags. 
So that's that one. Let's get this. See if I can get this through here. All right, that should stay now. So that's that one. And then this is the last tag. And I just took a piece of lace and wrapped it all the way around and put a little paper flower and then a little flower embellishment that has a little um, rhinestone in the center. And then this little pink, uh, I don't know what you would call that, just coming up out of it. And then some more beautiful um, trim that matches. And then I did the circles and opposite colors, reinforcement circles, that's what they're called, in different colors on each one and again this one's done on the cereal box too so it's nice and sturdy so those are all the tags that go in here so we're just going to start sticking these back in here because it's easier if I know they're in here I actually love 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 this envelope I don't know some some of the things I make just come really easy to me and some of the other things are a little bit harder, but this one, this one was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed making this. And there are videos um, on me and Sierra's channel where we make this if you want to take a look at it. So on the back, in the back pocket, I made all these little cards. And these cards came from Melanie, and I just copied them um, because I do like using them. They're great for holding trims and stuff. And I made some little cards with some... Uh, this has got some crochet trim on it. This one's got some wider crochet trim, just pinned on there. And then I made two button cards. Those are the button cards, and they are sewed on there with this beautiful gold um, thread that I have. So those are the button cards. And then I made two cards with some crochet pieces that I made. This one's just a little doily, and uh, this is uh, like a bullion flower. I think that's what it's called. And then a rolled rose. And this one has another rolled rose on it, and a little pink butterfly, and another one of those bullion flowers. So these, these are all sewed on, so these can all be taken off and used in projects. And then I just distress the back just to make it look cool. And around all the edges, of course. So those go in the back. So this kind of just has a whole bunch of stuff you can use, you know, in an envelope if you want to make it, or in a junk journal, or, you know, a fabric book, or anything that you're working on. And then the last thing I did was to make a dangle. Um, I really like dangles, so I put this one on a, I don't even know what these are called, these clips. But I, I really prefer this kind, and I know they have a specific name, and of course because... I'm on here, I won't think of them. So I just took a piece of chain and just added a bunch of different beads down it that kind of matched um, the envelope. I have this gorgeous yellow, and then I made a couple long ones with some long beads and some smaller beads. And then this one is a leaf. I don't know if you guys can see that. That one's a leaf. Hope I'm staying in frame. I'm not really looking at my computer. And that one's a little shoe. And then we have a leaf. And then uh, a pink. That one's a pink one. It's a clear pink. It's really pretty. And then this flower. And then some more beads. There's beads going down all the way in pink and green and white and blue and all the colors that are in that envelope. And then it ends with this beautiful fan. And I don't know why my hands look orange like this when I'm on here. That's so weird. <laughs> but I, I don't have dye or anything on my hands. I don't know why they look like that. Sorry, ladies. All right, so that's, and then it's just a long dangle to go on there. And you can use it on any project or you can just keep it clipped on your envelope. That's, you know, up for you to decide. And so then these just go back. Oh, and then I forgot, oh, I almost forgot this one. This is just on a stick with a um, clothespin, and it's just a tiny little tag, and it's got a paper flower with a little banner thing coming off um, that I punched that has little hearts in the center, and then I put this little string on, and then I made this rolled flower with um, rickrack and put that on there. So that's just another little tag embellishment piece. So that goes right up right down the side here 
and just sits there like that. And then all of this goes back in here into the center. And like I said, it does get quite fat, so it's kind of hard to get them in here like that. And it just goes in like that. And let me back up so you can see the whole thing. There you go. So that is the whole envelope. This is for sale. Um, I believe I said $45. If you are interested, you can reach me on Facebook. Um, my Facebook is Laurel Nakutis, or you can find me in uh, my Facebook group, which is Inspiration Alley, where creativity blooms. So if you are interested, please let me know. I will post this in the group now that I have done the video. I'm sorry I'm a little behind. I've been a little bit busy. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this, and I hope to make more of these soon. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We're always um, making new things on here. Um, me and Sierra kind of flip-flop and kind of do some things on our own. So uh, you can, you, you'll find all videos will kind of flip back and forth. Um, thank you for watching. Remember to get out and create something. And I will talk to you all soon. Have a great evening. Bye for now.